Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Rose Connolly, also known as Down in the Willow Garden. <laughs> This is a request for Guillaume, so thank you Guillaume for asking for this one. Um, this is a murder ballad uh, which comes from Ireland but is now very popular in the USA. The story behind the murder ballad uh, is uh, told from the point of view at a ma of a man at the gallows and he has murdered his girlfriend by uh, three methods <laughs> just to make sure and he's blamed it on his father so I think he deserves what he's getting. The song was recorded in 1947 by Charlie Munro and has been taken up um, by a lot of bluegrass players. I'm going to give you three versions, a very simple plain version, uh, a, a version with some ornamentation and then a solo based on uh, Tex Logan's playing with Bill Munro. Uh, so let's start off with the melody. Uh, it's in the key of G going to E minor. I've just realised that this melody is in fact entirely pentatonic and I, I did a video recently about um, pentatonic scales used in folk melodies and this will be a good example. So I'll play through slowly the melody. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> If you're not a very experienced player, then a good starting point would actually be just to play open one, three, open one, three, and then an open E. That takes you through the pentatonic scale, it gets you used to your fingering that you're going to be using. Let's do this again, and this time we'll do it with the backing. Now, let's look at how we can improve that by adding some drones. Drones are open string adjacent notes that you can play along with the melody note. So, the first three notes, you can play a G at the bottom. Um, on those two notes, I'm playing a D underneath. And a D underneath there. Uh, nothing under the E. G under the E. Now, when you get to that note, it's a strong note and you want something to support it. I would n do not a drone, but a... A double stop, so a second finger on the C. If you wanted, you could put a C under that E. That 
E with a B under it is nice. So that's going to thicken it up a lot. If, even if you're playing this solo, this would sound uh, quite a lot fuller with those drones and double stops. If you're not sure about how to do drones, then I do have a video explaining how that works. Now, uh, hammer-ons is another very useful thing in a medium to slow number like this. So, uh, a melody note is preceded by either the next note down in the scale or the next note down in the melody. So we're hammering the third finger on and keeping the first finger below it. There, I'm going from an open A to the B. That's an F sharp to a G. again on this time with the backing. playing this with an Irish band, which does sometimes happen, then uh, if you put some rolls in it would be quite nice. Let's look at the Tex Logan solo. Uh, I'm not sure if he recorded this on album, but there is a live version on YouTube uh, of um, Bill Monroe's band playing this. I think sometime in the 50s, but I'm not sure about that. Um, so Tex Logan was his fiddle player at the time, and he did this uh, quite tricky little solo. It's only over the A section. Um, but it's well worth hearing the original. Uh, my version is not quite as sweet as his, but I'll show you what I managed to glean from it. So I'm going to play this very slowly and then I'll go back and break it down. One, two, three. <laughs> Starting off with the G note with a B below it, and then open A, open D, and then first finger, third finger, sliding that up a third, and with your fourth finger, just flick that on, or else uh, go back to first position and do it which is a bit cleaner, and then uh, third position again, first of a third, one. then the hardest bit, so that's um, down to first position, first of a third, 
open over one, up to third, that's one over two, and that's one over two, so that's really quite tricky. That one over two, that one, I uh, find it very hard to play that last bit in tune. So that wants to be all in one bow and not too uh, straight. And then, so that's two, three, three. Fourth finger sliding down and up. Three, two, three. Slide your first finger up. And again. So that line, let's do the whole that of that again, one, two, three, two, two, three. much easier to make up your own solo, or at least it will be for me, but if you want something that sounds really authentic then copying something like that is sometimes a good idea. Uh, I'll play you out with that solo uh, played over the backing. If you'd like a copy of the uh, sheet music I've been using here then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email and if you would like to help support the work that I'm doing providing these videos then do consider joining me on Patreon. Thank you for watching, I'll see you again soon.